Well, good morning, good night, good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Failboats YouTube, and this is also Failboats uh, coverage of the scoreboards thing with Nopes. Hello. Alright, so first of all, we have this little uh, statuish face in front of us that I just realized kind of looks like a face. Uh, yes, it does. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is, well, if you press this button, nothing. It literally does nothing. But if I press tab, you can actually see we have little golden things next to our connection things. Oh, this, we do. This is the first instance of a scoreboard. Um, that scoreboard, however, stands for total deaths. So if I were to press this, nothing happens. But this this thing requires a sacrifice. So, ah, I'm sorry, man. It'll be okay. All right. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll bring you back. But as you can see, if I were to press tab right now, my score has actually risen to one. And now if I press this... Oh. Still nothing happens. <coughs> cough. <laughs> cough cut. <coughs> cough and cut. Uh, ignore the text that's disappearing in the bottom left-hand corner from the command block. Okay, so now if I do this... God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I think technical difficulties. All right, Please stand by. Cough and cut. Okay, let's see. Hey! Oh, give it hey, to you. Thank you. <laughs> it's mine. I now permit the Philbo 103. Now look what it says in the chat. Lord of the Scythe. I now permit the Philbo 103 to wield the golden scythe, even though you took it. Uh, I can just. I it. didn't take it. Yep. You just gave it to me. Well, you took it. Uh, now I can't press it again. Fine. Uh, you oh, you can have it. Yeah, and now I actually didn't complete the complete the way that it was meant to go. I actually forgot to take out the uh, level that you currently had, or at least the scoreboard that you currently had. But if I were to do this, um, score, and I'll tell you guys, I'll teach you guys about this in a second. Scoreboard objectives. No, it's not objective. It's uh, players. Uh, set. Fail, but one hundred three. Uh, blood, <laughs> lust level as I name the thing. Zero, and now you press tab. You can actually see I'm back to zero. And if I hit this again, the eyes go off. Uh. <laughs> okay. So first of all, let me just get this straight. Let me let me just clarify. This is a very very compute confusing subject. Even I don't fully understand it, as you can see by my multiple takes getting this to work. Uh, even though it's actually just a simple, like, I put an extra bracket at the end of the command block. But, yeah, this, first of all, scoreboards. My, is, is time not a command anymore? Yes, it is. There we go, okay. Well, scoreboards are amazing. <laughs> As you can see, it doesn't even have to show on the side of the screen or anything. You can just have a variable assigned to you. And that in itself is amazing, because that actually allows people to customize who people are by a number. <laughs> Sounds a bit bad, but yeah. You can now be categorized as a number. Not You're no, you're no longer a person. You've been stripped of your name. You've been given a number. It's horrible. It's, I, oh my god, that actually is horrible. Jeez. Touching sensitive subjects on these reviews. But you can assign people to variables with this, and they don't. Well, they won't even have to know it. This target doesn't hold an item. Interesting. What was that? I found a slash enchant comment. Continue. Slash enchant? Oh, no, that was in. That was in it for a bit. Yep, that was, that's, I think that's been in for a little while. But anyway, scoreboards. So, to get started, I'm going to give you a basic tutorial on this. Uh, if you do slash scoreboard, and this is always good. This is a quick thing to help you learn. Slash scoreboard and then press tab. You can see you have either objectives or players. To start off with, you want to go to objecti objectives. So just keep up with what you got, press space again, and press tab again. That will give you an option between list, add, remove, or set display. To start, you want to go with add. Then you want to do the name of it. So uh, let's name this Cactus Prick Derp. I don't know why. No clue. And then you want to press space again, tab again, and then this will tell you what... This is probably the most important thing. Whether you want it to track your player killing count, meaning how many times you actually killed another player, total kill count, which is between killing other people and killing mobs in general, 
uh, dummy, which means it's not affected by anything currently at in game. You actually have to assign that assign its value with other command blocks and other commands, and death count, which uh, tracks your death. So let us go with death count for now, and then you have to type in the name one more time. So just do cactus prick derp. There we go. This, you have to type it twice. So now it'll say it's been successfully added. So you're wondering, okay, uh, where, actually, hold on, let me do this. This is actually how you uh, remove, uh, remove things. So if I do scoreboard, objective, again, this is mainly a tutorial, uh, objective, and then you, uh, sorry, objectives, and then you do, I think it's remove, yep. You want to do remove, and if you press tab, it'll actually give you a list of what current ones you have. So you have bloodless level, and then we're going to press enter. And that will be removed, and as you can see in the tab, we no longer have it. Uh, it's no longer being displayed in our list. So. I don't know whether you're just spacing out or just... <laughs> no, I'm also testing. Alright, well, as you can see, it's no longer being displayed. It is still being tracked. The uh, Cactus Prick Derp. Don't know why I named it that. God help me. But Cactus Prick Derp it is. Now, if you want to actually have that displayed somewhere, you can do slash scoreboard, objective, oh, sorry, objectives, uh, set display, I'm just pressing tab to make sure I'm getting this all right, set display, and then you want to do either list or sidebar. Uh, list only appears in the tab menu, sidebar is a bit more interesting, because if you do, oops, if you do sidebar, uh, actually, right now it's currently not being displayed, that's because... It has no value right now. But if I were to do this. Just because I named it a cactus. He could have been, he could have killed me and it would have still tracked it. But. You can also just use slash skill. Yeah, probably. but you know, it was right here. But. Ooh, interesting. As you can see. <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't fit in the screen. No. <laughs> uh, that's glorious. Um, that's a bug. Yep. Also, I can't seem to teleport to you. I already teleported you to me. Oh, 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 God. Random server lag. Somewhere, some sheep. Somewhere, some sheep just got punched. Anyway, um, but yes, as you can see, it actually, I'll, I'll go up against the cobblestone. It, right there, it says Cactus Prick Derp. Half the P is there. I guess it is a derp. But, Philbo 103 1. This is actually tracking how many times I die. No matter what way I die. Death. No matter how I die. Death, for example. No. Uh, drowning. Sword slashing by notepads. Go ahead. Uh, cactus. Whatever it is. There's your revenge. It tracks how many times I've died. And it even works. It would work on Sir Nopez too. Because it's it's tracking everyone on the server. Oh. Oh god. What? 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 <laughs> Maybe even do suffocation damage. Um, because. Did I just destroy the block? Oh, what? what? Oh, you did slash kill. And yes, as you can see, yes. it. E you know what? Hold on, hold on. Spawn point. Hold on. This is a this is a command, by the way. Spawn point, Sir Nopez. There we go. Okay, I just set your spawn point to here. Uh, that's not a new thing. That's just slash spawn point to set a vanilla spawn point. Um, so now if we kill ourselves, as you can see, we'll just respawn here. And it again, it goes up by one over there. So, let me go into game mode one here. And I can sh oop. Your face is on backwards. <laughs> I don't get that glitch in Minecraft when your face gets backwards, but all right. Um, uh, well, the next thing I want to show you, actually, before I continue into this subject, I do want to go over a quick thing that I ignored. You can actually rename command blocks. So if I give myself a command block, it's 137 in the in the uh. You, have to, you actually have to give it to yourself with slash give, and it's the ID 137. But if you rename it to, um, how, how about this? How about this? Hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, so you can actually rename it. What you can do is if I were to right click this, Sir Nobis's mom, come down for dinner. <laughs> oh. Yep. 
You can actually rename it to whatever you want. Like, you can make that say fail vote 103. <laughs> like, you can actually make people say things. So if I were to say, like, um, Jeb, and then do the little underscore thing, and I do this, do slash say, you are my greatest creation at R. What it'll do is it'll choose ran random people. It'll say, you are my greatest creation, Phil 103. Phil 103. Phil 103. No best. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, you can actually now rename stuff. I love that so much. Now, I'm making sure here. Oh, okay. So it actually, I, I was wondering why it looked a bit different. It's because it uses brackets and we use the little triangle things. Fair enough. So. Yeah. For people who can, you know, for people to tell the difference. Hold on. Let me actually rename one to me here. Billboat 103. I am now a command block. And if I were to say, uh, say, hello. And do this. Wow. There we go. It's just like you. Yep. That's the difference right there. It's just little triangles. But that's a cool way of doing it. I like that. Oh, oh, God. I start glitching into the anvil there. But yeah, that's now a thing. And also, I think you can do this. Um, MSG failboat. Wait, MSG at P. I'm you. Because MSG is uh, the whisper command in Minecraft. Oh my god. That That's awkward. Um, <laughs> failboat 103 whispers to you. I'm you. Oh, that's a bit Sticking odd. Sticking over. Okay. Sticking but, over. Yeah. This is me. We're being replaced by robots, Nopis. Oh, God. The time is finally there. Yeah. Minecraft has become automated. Uh, oh, God. But, yeah, dispensers can use bone meal on trees and stuff. Okay. No, no, no. We're, on, we're talking about score bars here. So, I forget where I left off here. Um, oh, right. I can show off the uh, scoreboard for dummy. Dummy scoreboard. Um, first, let me just actually create a scoreboard that removes... The current scoreboard. Let's try to do this. Scoreboard, but and of course you can, can just you can reset it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna delete it. Uh. Actually, no, I'm gonna clear it. Object. Well, for now, here. This one I won't message. Mess with. Message. I won't message this one. Yeah. We can just do scoreboard players reset, right? Um, I think that one's broken a bit right now. Right now, I'm oh. just going to do remove cactus prick derp. There we go. See, now oh. it's been removed from the sidebar. All right. So, I want to try it. I want to uh, do a dummy one here. Because hopefully, I'll be able to remember how to do this. I think I do. So, what I'm going to do in here is score. I'm going to make this one entirely command block operated. Scoreboard. Add. No, uh, objectives. If I remember this. Again, I just learned about this, like. 30 minutes ago, and I started spazzing, saying I was dying, and nope, it's telling me. <laughs> um, and I ignored him. Yeah, they ignored me. So I waited off on dying a little bit, then he came back, and I'm like, Ugh. and then uh, he helped me. Alright then. So, scoreboards add, um, what should I, oh, it's got an email. Thank you, Isaac Haro, for commenting on my video. Oh wait, hold on, was this the guy the first to comment on my, on my, yes, this guy was the first, yes! <laughs> Thank you, Isaac Hiro, for being the first comment on my uh, 13W048 video. <laughs> oh, brilliant. All right. that Now you got a perspective of when this video was recorded. Yeah. Ah, uh, there goes the magic. Okay. Scoreboard objectives add. By the way, can you time set zero? Thank you. Uh, let's just do um, herp levels. All right. No. Uh, how about derp levels? Sounds better. Derp levels. Uh, let's see. I'm forget. No, no, add. If I make this a dummy, I think I'm doing this right. Derp levels. Let's see if this worked. Uh. Oh right, because there is no more command block output. Yay! That's not good. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I tried to- I got rid of it for the thingy back there. Command block out, put, uh, true. Okay, here we go. It still didn't give an output. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
Let me just do it here for a second. Let me just make sure I got it. Scoreboard. Objectives. Add. Actually, I can do list. Okay, yeah, I, I did make it correctly. Awesome. So this creates the one called derp levels. This one right here. I think these are all named Philbo 103, by the way. Yep. Brilliant. All right. Um, I can do... Let's see here. Scoreboard. Objectives. Set. Display. Um, derp levels. Sidebar. If I press this, they're now being displayed in the sidebar, but we don't have anything yet. And it don't it doesn't get tracked because well sorry, it don't it won't display no matter what we do, because we have no way to make it go up or down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. This will be a way for people to increase their level in the current derp level. Uh, this this command block will increase your derp pretty much. Alright. So if you want to increase derp, actually, what you can do is instead of objectives, there's actually another thing beyond that. There's players. Now when you do players, it actually lists how many people are being tracked. But if you do players and then do tab again, I think I might have hit caps lock. Yep. All right. It will say if you want to actually remove people from a list. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, players. Add ass. <laughs> I just typed players ass. Okay. What we're gonna do in here? Scoreboard. Uh, players add at R. Um, what was it called? Derp levels. Levels. Level levels. I think one. Odds oh, of this working? Nope. Okay. It's derp levels first of all. So, I missed out on the capitalization there. There we go! Set score of derp levels for player fail by 1 to 3 to 1! Yay. Yay. Alright. Although I just realized... Nothing happens. Is it not being displayed? Set display derp- Oh! Whoops. Derp. Levels! Derp, <laughs> level, derp plus level one. Went up by 1. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I wish there was a way to do, like... Previously typed in commands into it. Um, or just step. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let me just do the scoreboard. Oh, Don't know why it's not doing. being displayed right now. Scoreboard, objectives, set display. I may have done it in the wrong order. Set display. Oh, yeah, I did it in the wrong order. That's what it was. Derp levels. Okay, now it's being displayed. Oh, there you go. I just did yep. it backwards. It's actually set display, sidebar, derp levels. Alright, or whatever you name it. So yes, now, whenever I press... That's right. Yep. Um, scoreboard. <laughs> players. Add, I can see you wading in the water a bit over there. <laughs> add derp levels. Um, derp levels. At R1. Let's see if this works. Uh, I think I actually did that wrong. I think it's add at R derp levels 1. Hey, there we go. So now, there's random derps. Yep, very random. Yep, there we go. And what we can do is if we hook up a uh, rapid repeater to it. Actually, maybe too fast to do on a server. Uh, I'm trying to do, like, the really fast pulsing one. That's not how it goes. One of them should go otherwise, probably. Oh, oh. Way. Yeah. You know... Hold on. Nope, wrong person. Wrong person. Okay, it, it seems to be favoring you right now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. It does work on multiplayer. All right. This is a rapid pulser. So what I'm going to do... It's going to do this. I'm winning. Oh my god! You you just had a streak of like thirteen derp. Uh, but basically that will just continue going as long as I have this on. Oh my god! You're killing me in derp. Who knew? I'm the derpiest. Who knew? Look at that! Look at those numbers. 
Just, nope, uh, just nope, look at the you're side. You're catching up. You're oh, catching up. Oh, I'm catching up. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, oh. oh I'm about to overtake you in derp. No. Oh, oh. No. no. Oh, I'm gonna overtake you. Nope. Nope. No chance, dude. This is like a race. <laughs> this is like a legitimate race. It's kind of exciting, too. I know, it is sort of ex No. Oh, God. I guess you can make betting in this, in the sense. You can actually race numbers like that. Come on. Come on. All right. You could make a horse game. Uh... Yeah, yeah. You can actually make some sort of a horse game off of this. Oh, my God. That's actually, I'm, I want to see how long that runs. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's just do this real fast, though. Game rule. Oh, my God. <laughs> game rule is <just laughs> being pushed down. Game rule, command block, output. Uh, let's make that false, please. All right, there we go. Now now we'll stop spamming us, and we'll just see a constant derp levels increasing in the corner there. Keep track of how many derps you can obtain in this game. I don't know. Now, you can actually rotate the derp level. Uh, you can actually rotate uh, between different things. Like, if I had another thing that was recording something else, it would actually flash between them, whichever, whichever one get updated the, uh, the most. But yes, guys, that's that's pretty much it for scoreboards. Uh, I kind of say that's it, but at the same time, not at all. Like this little thing I ha Oh, wait, no. I didn't go over this part. This is probably the best part about it. Um, if Actually, hold on. Let me stop this real fast. Uh, there. There we go. Okay. Hey, you got it to exactly 300. Nice. All right. What I'm going to do... I'm going to reset the scoreboards thing. I'm going to do scoreboard. Objectives. Um, I'm uh, sorry. No, I want to do scoreboard players uh reset i think that's a doable thing now i'm gonna reset it for you and for me there we go now what we can do here now i didn't go over what this did in the last video but there's a new command oh wrong thing there's a new command for command block it's called slash test four this is basically an if command if you know coding uh Test 4 will look for anything you put in the following brackets. So if I do... <laughs> I was going to do that, but I forgot to. <laughs> Sorry, now if I see your tarp levels, they're over 9,000! Okay. <laughs> I forgot to do that. I'm, I'm sad at myself. I, didn't, I forgot to do that one. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to do test 4 um, at P. And then we're going to define... Now, we're going to find the perimeters to search for. We're going to set the first person to get to derp level uh, 50 will win. So what we're going to do is score underscore. It always starts with score. Then it's the name of whatever it is. So in this case, derp levels. Uh, we're going to make it equal to... Uh, we're going to make it equal to... Let's see. What should we make? Oh, yeah, 50... Actually, we're going to make this one equal to 51. Do comma, score, underscore, derp levels, uh, equal to 50, uh, equal to 50. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Score levels, underscore, min. We're going to set the min and the max for it to search for. So let's actually make the maximum, like, 55, just in case we, just in case we derp too fast for it to keep up with. Um, we're going to end the brackets there. And then we're going to type... Actually, we're not going to type anything from there. Basically, this will... Actually, let me link this up to... Uh... There we go. Okay. So this will be constantly refreshed by that uh, repeater right there. This will be constantly looking for someone who's derping at level 50. Uh, this is a perfect thing to name this test, I'm just saying. <laughs> now, when one of us is derping at level 50... By the way, where'd the little thingy go? What? Thingy... Uh, the scoreboard thing. Oh, right, I just, did I just reset? Oh, okay, there we go. Had a feeling. Alright, so, I guess I'm just gonna reset your derp. Okay, I'll, I'll let you try and, this, yeah, you know, scoreboard. Wait, right. scoreboard players. Already, Already done. Yeah, you got it. Alright, then. So this will track for when one of us is at level 50 derp. Um, damn, I keep on typing time wrong. Then, it'll output a signal of 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this here. Wait, hold on. I'm still saying me. Uh, who, who should we want judging this competition? 
Who is the derpiest person you know? Yeah, you. Oh, okay, so I should be judging this competition. Okay, let's put that <laughs> No, back. let's take uh, Giancarlo. Giancarlo! He's, he's, he's pretty derpy. <laughs> uh, that's a reference to one of my admins. Uh, okay, hold on. Giancarlo underscore At least one of the people on Team Failures. Don't worry, that'll be a thing later. Uh, you'll, you'll get when I... Spoilers! Okay, moving on here. He's a person that we know. He's Italian. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do say... Uh, at P... And then I have to type it one... Wait. Uh... I'm actually confusing myself right now. Hold on. Test four. Sorry, confusing myself. Okay, okay. Test, actually, what we're gonna do, just so I don't have to retype that again, I'm gonna put my cursor right here, hold shift, and hold the right arrow. Okay. There we go, let's just copy that all. And then repaste that there, okay. So this is just saying, say whoever's in this area is the true derp king. Okay, there we go. So now John Carlo will tell us who is the true who is the true Derp King. Are you ready to begin our competition here, Nobis? Yes, I'm ready. All right then. Born let, ready. Yep. Let the matches for the Derp begin. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. And it's off. Oh my God! You already have an excuse. Clearly winning. Oh no no no! Okay, you're already halfway there. Damn it! You're too <laughs> good at derping. Ah. Uh. Yes. I'm a natural. No. Oh wait! Oh, I'm coming back! I'm coming back! No! No, no you're not. No, oh, oh nope. it's close. It's going to be oh. close. Oh, I am the true oh. Derp King. And I take that back at the last <laughs> second. <laughs> that uh, was pretty close. Yeah, but as you can see, it actually detects who was the first person to get it. And you can even <laughs> see in the, you know, if you pause and play the video, I just got 50 before Nobis. Meaning, this actually is really reliable. Well... Honestly, I love that. That in itself is a game. Derp <laughs> levels. Jeez. Uh, but yes, guys, that's all for scoreboards. Well, you know, that's all for scoreboards. But for now. Yeah, you can now set. Yeah, you can set variables that aren't displayed, and you can just move people around without, you know, having. You can, like an easy, medium, hard level in an adventure map. Yeah, exactly. You can use something like this to spawn difficult mobs or less difficult mobs. Yep. Well, or even yeah, or even uh, personal like if you were playing a class-based game, which is coming up soon for me. Um, if you were playing a class-based game and you wanted to choose a different class, you could have that class be assigned to a number. And so if you press redstone, it would know. If you press redstone, if you press the button connected to redstone, it would know whether you were a pyro or t or a heavy. You know, if you were playing a TF2 Minecraft thing, uh, you would actually be able to detect the difference. Honestly, I love the scoreboards. I cannot... It's amazing what... All right. It has so many uses. Yeah. Oh, it, it, there are so many uses. And I cannot wait to see what people do. And also, guys, look forward to the stuff that I'm going to be doing with this. Because I'm going to be I'm gonna be continuing on. Also, let the derpy continue. <laughs> no. But uh, without anything else to say, I love this new scoreboard thing. Nope, thank you for being in the video with me and hosting this little server. No problem. Ah, you beat me to 100, though. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But the the possibilities to this are endless, and I'm going to be taking full advantage of it in my new minigame map that will be out. So, okay, I, I, for people who've been, who've been watching this far, I can say this. I'm going to be having a minigame, a giant minigame map for my 500th video. So, And I'm going to be giving big hints to it in the 10 videos up to it. So look forward to that, guys. And they will be, it'll be fully one, uh, 1. 1.5 stuff. So, be excited. No. Thank you all for watching. Also, quick to the, let, let me just cut to that part where we were talking about that real fast. Oh, did we spawn next to a witch hut? Yeah, look at that witch hut. Wait, uh, world. <laughs> okay, let me just oh. clarify. This sucks for the witch. I've seen a lot of those. Oh, no, just no. in the middle of the water. Oh, no. this, this sucks for the... Okay, the witch isn't home. Probably drowned. But really, witches burn in water, right? They, yeah, they... Witch, this sucks well, some, for the witch. Some of them do. Not all of them. Couldn't you imagine? Like, bad luck witch. The witch just <laughs> spawns. And it's like, oh, I'm going to start a great new Minecraft world. And I'm going to kill the player so many times. She walks outside. God damn it. Lol. Okay, then. Thank you all for watching. Um, and... Yeah. Anything else you would like to say?
Last words? Fish. Fish? Okay. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. And do 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 do. See you around! I'm winning!